We're following breaking news overnight. Chaos and panic in Tampa, Florida after a deadly shooting. This is video from social media showing people running away as shots were fired. Two people are dead and 18 are in the hospital this morning. Police say it happened just before 3 a.m. as bars were starting to close. Two groups, they got into an argument in the street, which led to those shots being fired. Now, we are told that one shooter turned himself into police. Investigators believe there were at least two suspects involved. Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. That's given all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, and name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. Now, real quick, I want to go into this video. Now, I just did it, you know, and then my phone was uh, full of videos and stuff, so it didn't save, so I got to do it all over again. Um, so it probably ain't going to be the same. Okay. You know how it is whenever the spirit hit, you know, you got to strike the iron uh, while it's hot, but Hey, you know, the video is gone. So I'm going to do it again and just, you know, recap on what, what I said to the best of my ability through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai. But, um, this happened this morning. Okay. Uh, multiple people shot after clubs closed in Ybor city. And this happens out damn near every year, man. You know, people go out there to club, um, around Halloween time. And what happens is uh, these shots end up ringing out, man. Okay, people end up getting killed, you know, shot behind these uh, these these uh, these pagan heli days, and uh, you know, it's definitely the spirit of created for vengeance out there, man. And you got all these um, videos and footages coming out, and uh, pictures coming out of people laying lifeless in the street, you know, in pools of blood, and um, obviously I can't show you that. But um, yeah, man, this is why you gotta understand the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and, 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 and what time we in. So it says multiple people shot after clubs closed in Ebor City. Multiple bystanders were shot in Ebor City shortly after clubs closed for the night. Reports are coming in that they there are likely multiple casualties. Praying for everyone affected. We will update in, in the morning as well. All right, so this is uh, what happened. Oh, 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 they wallin', they wallin'. They wallin', they wallin'. So you see these witches right here, they dressed up. And this guy's grown as man, you know, dressed in a Teletubby uniform or, or costume. And people are just really, you know, completely lost, man. You know, so people lost their lives out there, and all them people was out there trying to have a good time, but don't realize that, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is visiting this earth, man, with death and destruction. All right, he is visiting this earth with death and destruction. Let me grab this real quick. It says, um, First Thessalonians 5, verse 22, abstain from all appearances of evil. And you uh, abstain from all appearance of evil. And you saw them women, they was dressed up as witches. You know, so people go out there and, and they dress up as who they really are all, all, all year round. You know, and they, uh, you know, they, they, they think it's cute. They think it's funny. If they, if they think it's about fun and really the Lord is putting judgment upon these people. It says Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay. So a lot of people got shot and hurt, you know, uh, at, uh going out there, you know, dressing up. And this is why we tell you, you know, this ain't the time for that. And matter of fact, we used to teach out there, man, you know, right by that, what, what, what that video was shot at. We used to teach out there. And one of the brothers, you know, at the camp, he went out there could be because he 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 got to work, you know he 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 you know I believe he'd rather do security, and he worked and he is the one that first told us you know what what happened when 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 it happened. Before any news reporters came out, he said that hey man they out there, you know about four o'clock in the morning, you know people was 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 laid out in the streets dead, okay, and this is only a prelude to what's coming, as a whole to America, man, okay, repent and seek your help, Bashim Al Shai, while he may be found. It says Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9, when thou art coming to the land which Yahweh thy power have given thee, thou shalt not learn the, to do after the abominations of those nations. Because these, these heathens, they, they they into this stuff. They into the Halloween, you know, all this madness. And we supposed to rebuke that madness. We're not supposed to be with that. You know, but Jake get caught up in it. They out there dressing up, going out there in costumes. You got stripper nuns out there, you got witches, you got uh uh, uh ghouls and goblins, okay. 
a bunch of madness going on, man. And no, and people don't realize that they're evoking spirits. Okay, those are spirits created for vengeance out there, putting people, taking people back to to to, to the spirit world. And this happens every year. Like I said, we used to um, we actually used to camp out there. You know, when we were newer in the faith, and when I, and when I, and when I first came into the truth, when I was you know with with, with, with a, a, a particular camp, you know, those guys, you know, we would all go out there, and uh, you know, you would see people would walk walking past with their breasts showing. You know, all, all all type of stuff was going on, man. Just and, and it's much worse now. That was years ago, about five, five, five or six years ago, and it's much worse now, man. Okay, Jake tried to go out there with their kids and stuff. Apparently, one one of the victims that got shot was a fourteen year old. Um, was a fourteen year old, which that's the the the, the, the club scene. Those, those are clubs out there. You got to be eighteen or twenty one to get into them clubs. But you have kids out there running around playing, you know, thinking that 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 is um. That that is all fun and games. Verse ten it says, "There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, which is sacrifice, child sacrifice, or that use of divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch." You see, so even if they was dressed like that, you shouldn't be in that spirit. And if you're in that spirit, the Lord gonna bring judgment upon you. It says, "Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, right? Somebody that's communicating with the dead." It says, for all that do these things are an abomination to Yahweh, and because of these abominations, Yahweh, thy power doth drive them out from before thee. And that's what the Lord does. He brings judgment, okay? Thou shalt be perfect with Yahweh, thy power, for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto divi um, diviners. But as for thee, and the, uh, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, have suffer, have not suffered thee to do so. So we had, you know, different nations um in captivity and they would come in our captivities and they was, you know, formerly worshiping false gods and we had to beware of that, man. You know, now here we are in the land of our captivity and these people are worshiping false gods and giving heed to seducing spirits and um you know, falling after demons, you know, and the Lord has warned us about that too. Verse 15 it says Yahweh, thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee and from thy of, of thy brethren like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. Right. So the Lord's raising up prophets. You should listen to the prophets what, rather than this uh, madness going on in this world, man. OK. And that's, and, 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 and that's what happens when people are caught up in the ways of this world. OK. The traditions of men following after the traditions of men. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1, it says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, o, is, o house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands, and the workmen of the axe going into Christmas. We'll go into that around that time. But yeah, the customs of the people are vain. So these people, the people, the customs these people celebrate, and what they do is vain, man. You see, with the Halloween costumes on, they out there dressed up as Woody and shit. Okay, when well, motherfuckers gonna drop like Woody. Okay, your whole boss from your shots to be feared, and that's why we tell you, hey, don't go out there, don't be, you know, um, trying to have a good time. This this ain't the place to find balance, man. That's not balance right there. All right, let me let me uh, play this here. This morning, it's a tragic what happened here that families have to wake up and see on the news what happened here tonight. We have to think about the families involved and the victims that were involved and our hearts go out to them. What we know at this point, this is a very complicated scene. What we know at this point is it was a disturbance or a fight between two groups. And in this fight between two groups, we had hundreds of innocent people involved that were in the way. And unfortunately, as a result of that, we've had two that have passed away and 18 in the hospital with injuries. Mm. And again, our hearts go costumes. out to the families. Imagine waking up and hearing about this and knowing or being related to somebody that was involved in this. So what we're asking is we're asking anybody that was out there that has video, and we know that there are some out there because we've seen them on social media. Anybody that has video of this to please report it to us. Call our non-emergency line at 
We need that video because what happened here is completely unacceptable. And like every other case with our detectives and our officers and our partners that work together, we're going to hold those accountable and we're going to bring them the. So there you go. Let me go over here. It says, um, this is Tampa Bay, Fox 13, two killed, 18 injured in Ebor City shooting. Tampa police are responding to a shooting in a six, uh, the 1600 block of East 7th Avenue in Ebor City that left two people dead and 18 injured. One person has turned themselves in. Police are asking if anyone has more information or video from the scene to call their non-emergency number, yada, yada, yada. So there you go, man. And that's judgment from Yahu Bash and Yahu Shai. Okay, and I got these these videos and these footages that brothers put in the chat. And it's not looking it's not it's not looking good, man. Okay, you got people laid out in the streets, mouth open, eyes rolled to the back of their head, and and, and pools of blood. All right. Obviously, I can't show you these videos on, on camera. You know, but you got individuals um lay, laying laying in, in, on the streets, you know, um with sheets over them. You know, you got police tending to people that were injured. These people are still in their costumes. All right, so your whole bashing y'all shots to be feared, man. This is not a joke. This is not something to play with. Your whole bashing y'all shots not to be played with, and you should fear your whole bashing y'all shy. This should make you know not to be out here, you know, trying to be in that party, party spirit. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Right, and... um. You know, people, they, they want to go out and party and shit. And, and a matter of fact, I had a demon come to my ass, you know, because I, hey, I, when this happened, I was in the bed, man. I was asleep. Okay, I'm drooling on my pillow while people out there getting, you know, uh, laid down, you know. But um, a demon to come to you like, oh, why don't you go out more? Why don't you just want you do that? Fuck all that, man. Okay, hey, our purpose is to serve you. How about you? I'll try to do these videos and these shows, you know. And after that, you know, we, you know, um... Um, watchmen watching for these prophecies, man, you know, and this is exactly why you shouldn't be caught up with the, with the ways of this world or the people in this world, because that's what comes unto them, man. OK, let me see if I can grab that real quick, too, about envying not the wicked. Because you see people out there having a good time and the women and, you know, at the end of the day, it's all going to. um. It, 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 it is definitely not worth it in the end. Okay. And I'll finish reading this. Uh, scriptures came to my mind. Right here we go. It says Ecclesiasticus chapter 9 verse 11. It says envy not the glory of a sinner. These people are sinners, man. You know, and when people are sinning, it looks good. It, okay, you know, they, they, it seems like they're doing good, you know, getting that fast money. Um, It says, envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. And like I said, people be out there, have, like they have, act like they act, act and look, look like they're having a good time. But really, that, 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 that end up being their end, you know, that end up being their destruction. So back to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2, it says, It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness the countenance is made, the countenance, by sadness of the countenance the heart is made better, right? So sorrow is better than laughter, man. Okay, it's better to be in a sorrowful spirit and a meek and a lowly spirit than to be in a spirit of, you know, joy and all giddy laughing and, Always going to the club when I, when I was young, when I was in high school, you know, 17, 18, 19, you know, come coming out of high school, I was always going to the club every week. We would go down there, you know, um, get in free if you got there at a certain time, you know, and eventually this shit just got real old and played out to me because, you know, I, I started seeing, I started noticing, you know, first of all, it was the same thing every week. It was the same thing, but I started noticing that this, I would see the same people out there, man. There was older people, homeless people out there in the clubs. You know, partying and, you know, and they look real zombified, you know, so that, you know, it, 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 it really turned me off to the whole club scene. You know, I haven't been to the club in years, bro. In years. I don't even go to no bars. If I do go to a bar, it's going to be like a family friendly restaurant where it has a bar or something like that, man. You know, but when you go to places like this, uh, you got death angels out there, man. 
Okay, it says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And you shouldn't want to be out there. That's why we tell brothers in, 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 in this camp, even the head of a camp, I tell brothers, hey, brothers, it's not wise to go out, you know, to, to these particular places. You know, it was a situation where brothers was trying to go out there to Ebor. You see what happens when you go out there? You see? And we used to, like I said, we used to be teaching out there, man. Matter of fact, I used to work out there. And I remember, you know, the clubs closed at like 3 a.m. 3, 3, 3 and after that, people still drunk. People still, you know, trying to trying trying try, try to party and shit, and it ends with people out there fighting, you know, big ass brawls, people banging they, uh, each other head up against the storefront the glasses and stuff. People, you know, pretty much be out there killing each other, man. You know, and there'd be a whole bunch of cops out there on their horses and all that, but they don't stop nothing. You know, it's not the place to be, and it's not the time for that, man. It says. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. And that's why the Lord set up men uh, over, you know, your younger brothers to let you know, you know, hey, that's not why you shouldn't do that. You 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 shouldn't be going there, you know. And it's just you know advice. You you know you 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 can lead a horse to water, but you can't force the horse to drink. You nobody's gonna be you know checking you. You know, crack, you know, uh, 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 falling you down, put and put a GPS tagger on you to make sure you ain't going out there. Now you go out there and you get caught, caught up in this madness. That's going to be on you. But just know that the men of the Lord warned you, you see. And Jake, man, Jake, you be too busy trying to try, 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 trying to, you know, be friend. Scriptures, that's why elders and apostles have have taught us, man, you can't be too friendly with the younger or too familiar with the younger brothers. Because then you're looking for friend instead of, you know, um, being a proper leader over brothers. You know, giving them sound advice, letting brothers know, because it's better that you get, you know, told not to go, than you go out there or being told that you can go and you go out there and end up being destroyed, man. It says, um, for as a crack crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. So is the laughter of of the fool. All this also is vanity, right? So this is vanity, man. You know, it, it has no value. It says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay, it is better, it, it is better, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit than the proud in spirit, right? So you want you gotta understand that we had the end of this place, man. Okay, and the end is being made manifest. Okay, so you shouldn't you know really you should want nothing to do with this place and the people in it, you know. And if you are in that spirit, you need to repent, you need to rebuke, you, you know, you need to uh to, 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 to repent and pray for the Lord to put a righteous spirit upon you. Let me go here. Because this is what was out there. All right. You got all them people. I said hundreds of people that got put in the middle of it. They, they out there. They can even have a good time. And they got put. They got put into a bad time. You know, to my literally people laying in pools of blood. Where they say laugh now, cry later. It says the Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. And their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. So that the Lord set up these spirits to pour out the wrath and appease the I mean pour out their force and appease the wrath. So what happened out there? That was a wrath of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So the Lord created these things. For vengeance, man. Okay. It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, uh, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. People getting put to death by, 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 by you know, those guns and violence, death and destruction. Okay. And this is why it's important to, 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 to be in, be in the right spirit, man. Okay. It says, uh, verse 33, all the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every needful thing in due season. And that's what happened. People, you know, they think that God is all love. Not the Lord is judgment as well. So that a man cannot say this is worse than that. For in time they shall be all be well approved. And therefore praise ye the Lord with all with the whole heart and mouth and bless the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. So, you know, you don't want to be simple, man. Let me grab this. Let me grab this real quick. And like I said, I already did this video, so I feel like the first one, you know, the first one is always better. 
But I just want to touch on these things real quick while, while, while I can. Um, and while some of the things I said is still, is still in my mind, I, I was, you know, saying that the video ended up getting taken down. Or the video did, 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 did and save, but it's all through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5, it says, the, 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 uh, the just Lord is in the midst thereof, and he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not with the unjust, nor with no shame. Right? People have no shame. All right? They're having a good time, thinking everything is sweet. And guess what? You get caught up in, in, in judgment, man. You get caught up in judgment. That's why we tell, tell our brothers in this camp, you know, the province of Babylon camp, but also all you brothers. I'm sure this happened in all, all the camps. You got young men that want to go out there and have a good time and be partaking the things of the world. It's not wise. Okay. We tell brothers, you know, don't be going out there. It's not wise to go out there. And, um, you know, brothers, oh, you can't lord over me. You can't. Hey, okay. Play that fucking game if you want to. You know, play that game if you want to. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you great pain and, 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 and sorrow in the end, man. Okay. And this is what the Lord set up brothers over brothers because brothers have the experience. Brothers know. You know, brothers uh, ha, 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 have been, been in these predicaments where they had to. You know, get get this strong rebuke so that they don't end up, you know, being destroyed. Now and now the brothers, you know, the Lord set up set brothers over brothers to 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 show you so that you don't get caught and end up getting caught caught up out there, man. Proverbs twenty two and three: A prudent man, which is a man of understanding, foreseeth the evil, the bad times, and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Right? You you pause a peep the the evil and the wickedness and hide yourself, man. Like I said, I was in my bed, man. Okay, when all this was going on, you know, you know, having, and I was, and I was, I was actually having a a a, a, a damn good dream, <laughs> you know, I was having a damn good dream, bro. Through the spirit of your whole you know, shy. So I was getting sweet sleep. People was out there running for 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 their lives. Okay, it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So if you're gonna be simple, you're gonna pass on, and you're gonna end up being punished, man. You end up being caught up with the, with the people of this world catching the judgment that the people of this world are catching. You see, and everything happens for a reason. You know, everything happens for a reason. It says, um, Amos chapter three, verse six: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Which is what we do. We go out there and teach. We blow the trumpet, but then you gonna you don't want to hear the actual trumpets and the sirens going off. Okay, it says, "There shall there be evil, bad time in the city." And the Lord, Yahweh have not done it. So the Most High does all these things, man. He's the one that's bringing the judgment. Okay, he, he he's the one that's putting people to death. Okay. Surely, Yahweh, look, look, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So the prophets know. Okay, and they'll tell you, hey, don't, 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 you know, don't go out there. Don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do that. Don't be around this. Because, you know, it's, it's only going to bring, you know, death and destruction upon you, man. All right. These are stern warnings for, for for your sake. You know, let me go here. OK. Let me go here. Let's go to Deuteronomy 32. In verse 39. It says. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Most High does all these things, man. And there's none that can deliver out of his hand. And the Lord will jack you up, bro. The Lord will, 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 will bring great destruction upon you. You know, you don't want to be part of it. And imagine you being a man of the Lord and you out there, you know, trying to have, you know, talking about some damn balance. <laughs> you know, you're going you, 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 you're gonna, to you're gonna find balance. All right, you're going to be, you know. Level with the rest of these people. This is why the Lord warned us about this. Okay. You can't be in the spirit of trying to have a good time in, in, in hell. This is the valley of the shadow of death. Ain't, not, ain't nothing good for us out here, brothers. We're going to have our fun in the kingdom of heaven. We're we going to be able to enjoy our families and our children in the kingdom of heaven. Right now, we we were put here to work. We were put here to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Know what time that you are in. Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. You're supposed to be measuring these times. Know what time you in. And when thou seest part of these signs pass, uh, which I have, to have, have told thee before, 
Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? And the Lord is visiting this world. <gasps> so lock you with death and destruction, man. All right, so you seeing these prophecies coming to pass, you should know that it's ain't the time to be trying to have a good time. It's ain't the time to be looking for fun. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, then shall thou well understand the most high spake of these things that were from the beginning. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and the an end, and the end is manifest. So we are watching the end of this place, man. Okay, we are coming into the end of this place. The end is being made manifest. All right, so um, understanding that, you should, you should want nothing to do with the people of this world and the ways of this world. It says, verse 9, then shall they be in pitiful case, which have, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when the place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And like I said, we used to be out there for years teaching in Ebor City, man. You know, people see the same people every week. Don't know, no people did, didn't take heed, you know, so they had to know it after death by pain. It says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. And, we, you know, you go out there, bro, you're going to feel a demonic vibration. The evil, you're going to feel evil in the air. All right. And understanding that you should want nothing to do with that, man. Like I said, I used to work out there and, there, and even working out there, bro, it was always some shit. People, you know, soon as, as soon as, you know, three o'clock hit, people, did, you know, people start acting crazy and shit, man. And there was times where they would shut it down early because, you know, the fights and the shootouts would start early. It says, verse 15, I have said before and now do speak. I will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. You see? So the Lord said, there's going to be many more that's going to end up being perished and destroyed than that shall be saved. All right. And this is why you got the, the Lord set up, set up men over you to give you wise counsel of what not to do, man. You know, don't, 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 don't. And, and, and you know, the Lord does everything for us. And the Lord don't put a, put a brother over you for nothing, man. Okay. Oh, let me grab this. Second Corinthians chapter six, verse three. It says, giving no offense at anything that the ministry be not blamed. Imagine you out there. And, you know, you get in a fight and then punch somebody so hard that they end up dying. And then now they, oh, this man is a Hebrew. So like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you out there doing stupid nigga shit, man. Okay. Or somebody gets shot or you get shot, you know. Just trying to be a nigga. Just trying to have fun. It says, verse 14, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness? And it's easy to say it, but it's nothing that actually, you know. You know, uh, you know, um, uh, to, to, to to live these scriptures. The scriptures is a way of life, man. So you got to apply these scriptures. You can't just, it's not even about just going out to camp and saying it, you know, at camp. It's about actually applying these scriptures in your life, you know, and understanding, you know, uh, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Okay. You shouldn't want to be around these people. Somebody say, yeah, no more clubbing. This shit tragic, right? You should have been saying no more no more clubbing. But Jake could go out there on demon time and end up getting, you know, brought back to the spirit world. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. How Basham Yasha has to be feared. Okay. This is uh, uh, Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. And this is what, like I said, this is what the Lord set brothers up over brothers, man, to, 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 to show you right from wrong, to, get, to, to give you sound advice. We, we, we ain't here to make friends and, and, and be homeboys. We ain't here to be hanging out and doing nigga shit. That's not what, 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 what we're here for. Okay, we're here to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And in serving Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, there's certain things that we ain't going to be able to do. Okay? It says, Exodus chapter 23, verse 2 Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in 
a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So you should not follow a multitude to do. If just everybody doing it, don't mean you should be doing it, man. And we always young men. We all, you know, one wanted to be a part of that nightclub scene and, 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 and experience it. But guess what? So certain things you experience going to be the last thing that you ever get to experience. Okay. <laughs> Jake talking about experience. Okay. Uh, let me grab this. The Lord warned us of all this. It says Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You can't be walking around being a fool, walking around like the fools, seeking the things of the fools. It says be circumspect, man. Okay. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So when this time that we have, we 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 have it to serve you. Hobash and Marshai. Understand fire is coming to this place. Thermonuclear missiles are going to rain on this place. You don't have time to be trying to, you know, uh have fun and all this other crazy shit, man. The Lord about to, about to destroy this place. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And you you should understand the will of the Lord is to destroy this place, man. And you don't want to be destroyed with it. Okay. You don't want to be destroyed with it. So that should put you in a certain place, a certain mindset of, of serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And really, you know, like I said, we're going to have our fun in the kingdom, bro. It's in the time to be, be, be looking for, for damn fun. It says, um, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 10, it says, Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And certain things are just not acceptable unto, the, unto your whole Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't claim to be a man of the Lord and then you want to go out here and, 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 and do nigga shit and, be, and, be, and, act, and act like the rest of these niggas. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So you're supposed to reprove them. You see? This, 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 this is why you 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 get these re re rebukes. This is why men tell you, Jake, on that spirit, oh, you can't lord over me, brother. You can't lord over me. Okay. Okay. The Lord put brothers over over men for a reason. And nobody lord over you. Nobody telling you, oh, yeah, you can't, you know, don't tie your shoes right now. But brother's telling you, hey, brother, it's probably not wise to go here or go there. You know, and and, and now Jake being the spirit of, oh, you, oh lord over brothers. Well, guess what? A Lord speaketh once and twice, yet men perceive it not. It says, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Right? So, you don't want to, you, what these people doing in this world, you don't want no part of that, bro. Okay? Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Let me grab this too. I'll close out with this. Because the scriptures, you know, the, it, everything, everything happens for a reason, man. It says, um, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. It says, um, obey them that have the rule over you. So the Lord, it says, and submit yourself. So the Lord set up men over you, you know, you in a particular camp, you got men over you for a reason. The Lord, the Lord didn't put that man over you for nothing. You know, you, you looking down upon this man thinking this man is, 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 is just being extra. Well, really, hey, that's the spirit of the Lord. You know, scripture says, um, let me grab that real quick. Also to the forward. No, I don't think it's forward. It's uh I'm gonna finish this up too though. So it says, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. So the Lord puts their men over you for a reason. You're supposed to submit yourself. Okay. It says, why? For they watch for your souls. Or brother tell you, hey, brother, it's not wise to go here. It's not wise to go there. They're not telling you that because they want to, they don't, they, they don't want you to have fun or they're lording over you. It's for your own soul. Okay. Brother tell you, you shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be in Ebor City trying to have a good fucking time. That's not because the brother don't want you to have fun. It's because the brother don't, 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 don't want you to end up unalived. Okay? 
as they that must give an account. Because because what happened if, if a brother get put to death out there or some shit? Guess what? Uh, the, the, these men got to give an account. Well, why y'all let him out there? Why y'all let him go out there? Oh, but see the problem with Jake is that they they, they look for friends. They trying to have a good time. They 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 want to be niggas, really. Okay, and, and and a nigga hate when you don't allow them to be a nigga. That they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. And if a man got to constantly, you know, you become a headache, and then, then, then that becomes a bunch of grief for you and that man, and it becomes unprofitable. It says, pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience and all things willing to live honestly. But I beseech you the rather to do this, that I may be restored unto you the sooner. And that's the whole point. We want to go back to, 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 our, to our power. You know, be, be in our kingdom that we can be restored into Yahweh Hashem Yahshua sooner. This ain't about, you know, jamming the fuck out, doing some nigga shit and wondering why uh, you, uh, <laughs> you know, catching hell, man. You know, wondering why, why you bleeding out on the pavement. OK. Jake got put to death and he was 14 years old, man. <sighs> Let me grab this. Let's go to Colossians. It's not what I'm looking for, but I'll, 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 I'll use it for now. Because there's a rebellious spirit in the midst of Israel, man. A rebellious, evil, and wicked spirit. And Jake think it's cute. But they understand that a judgment is uh, no joke. Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing the most high. So you don't do it because just, 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 just to please the eyes of men. You do it out of the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not with eye service, just because a man watching you, you want to you, you, you put on his show. And whatsoever you do, you do, do it heartily as, uh, as to the Lord and not unto men. Not just doing shit to be seen of men. You see, that's what Jake do in this world, man. You know, they, they do things to be seen of men, to get the approval of men, to be justified in the eyes of men, you know. But the Most High sees all things. It says, knowing that of the Lord, you shall receive the reward for of your of the inheritance. For ye serve the Lord, Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons, right? So the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't, ain't no respect of persons with the Lord, man. Okay, and you can't have respect of persons in judgment. So you see a man going off, you see a man, you know, just because you may like the brother don't mean that you can't, you know, correct the brother. You, you you should correct him. Let me grab that. This is what, what, what goes on. All right. Look at this. This is beautiful. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 17. You shall not respect persons in judgment. So you see one brother going off and you jumping on him down his neck, but the other brother go off that you may like me be cool with. Hey, brother, hey, just, just not too much, brother. No, it's not too much. You know, nah. But ye shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the of the face of man, for the judgment is the most highs and the cause of that is too hard for you for you bring it unto me and i will hear it right so the lord gonna hear all things man okay the lord is gonna bring judgment according to his spirit okay proverbs 24 verse 23 these things also belong to the wise it is not good to have respect of persons in judgment like i said just because you may like a man you may be cool with a man don't mean that you know you 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 can just you know be light on particular individuals that you're cool with and other things that you're not cool with, you, you, you're going to give them a slap on the wrist. That, that, that's not the, the spirit of a man of the Lord. Romans chapter 2, verse 11, there is no respect of persons with the Most High. So the Most High is bringing judgment out. And he's going to bring judgment out every day. And, um, you know, in that, you know, this is why we got to fear and serve Yahweh Bashim Yashah with fear and trembling, okay? Not just doing what we want to do or, 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 or what feels good to our flesh, you know? But that's the point. All right, that's the point. So, like, yeah, maybe went a little longer than even the last video. 
I just want to touch on those points, man, because hey, everything is, is for a purpose, bro. The Lord set up men over you for a reason. And if you buck up against that, then you bucking up against your how about y'all shy? You know, if you try to circumvent that, you you you, you trying to circumvent the, the will of your how about y'all shy? And there will be a reward for that. Whatever I said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Baba Ball.